Hey everybody, welcome to another installment of Out of My Head. I'm KMO and I'm going to answer a question on this video. The question comes from Michael in New York City and Michael asks, why is my channel called Out of My Head? And he asks because I've been doing a podcast for many, many years, about a decade now, called The Sea Realm Podcast. So why isn't this video channel The Sea Realm video channel or The Sea Realm YouTube channel? Well, it just so happens that I was on a local TV show here in Bellows Falls, Vermont last week, and somebody asked that same question, and uh, here's the answer that I gave. So what is, um, if people wanted to watch your show on Fact TV, what's the name of your show? It's called, um, well, my YouTube channel is Out of My Head, mm -hmm. and so I'm, that's what I'm calling the show for now. Oh, good. Is that the same name for your podcast? No, the podcast is the Sea Realm Podcast, okay. which is the letter C, stands for consciousness, and then a dash, and then R-E-A-L-M. Seerealm.com is where people can find that. Okay, so if they go to Seerealm.com, they can find your podcast? Yes. And, and now you say Seerealm.com. Seerealm.com. Okay. We got it. We got it. Well, I knew because that's right. your, your email address, too. So. Yes. And I've seen, actually, a reference to your podcast. And what is your, the so Seerealm Consciousness, is that just, is it Stream of Consciousness, your podcast? No, or? it's interview-based. Okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely not Stream of Consciousness. It's <laughs> neat. And out of your head, you call it that because is that more like, this is where I am right now and I, this is the things that are coming out of my head? Or uh, there's, there's a lot of meaning yeah. to that phrase. Um, mostly it's getting outside of my own uh, thought process, mm -hmm. you know, not being... Because with the podcast, because it is something I can do at home, it's something that I can do remotely, it's not something I do in real time, it's, it's, it, I do a lot of reading to prepare for it, I mm -hmm. talk to people, so it's very intellectual, it's, um, it's, it's insular in a way, and so I want to get out of that mode that's why I'm doing gardening videos. Yeah, okay. you know, get out into the world and no, it makes perfect sense because it gives body. you a balance. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. But yeah. also, the content does come out of my head. Yeah, and uh, the third meaning that I have for that is sometimes you know you got to get a little crazy. You got to do things that are not um, necessarily prudent or safe yeah. or comfortable. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. No we, way. We talk about that. A no lot. way. That's one of our favorite topics: is being outside. <laughs> Okay, let's say it's one of Mike's favorite topics to make, Mar <laughs> to make Marty do. <laughs> we on, find out what we film how it. where her comfort zone is, and then we go outside. Uh -huh. So that's yeah. that's, that's where life happens. It's right. true. Exactly. Yeah. It's really, um, and the reason that I do do that is because um, people don't do it enough. They don't get outside their comfort zone. They don't. The comfort zone is comfortable. Why yep. would I want to do that? Why would I want to sweat? Why would I want to go to the gym? Why would I want to repel? Repel. <laughs> yeah. Why would I want to hang glide? Why would I want to do any of that type of stuff? Really? But um, you know, so that, I think that's a very good um, lesson for everybody to learn to get outside their head and to get outside because really that's where the fear is yeah. for everything that you do. It's right here. It's not like it's real. Fear is <laughs> seems real. Yeah. All right, that was me on a local TV show called The Feed, uh, explaining why I call my video channel Out of My Head. So uh, to recap, again, Out of My Head means getting out of the abstract intellectual mode that I usually operate in. And it also means that uh, everything in the channel, even if I'm out in the world uh, talking to people, doing things, is still, I mean, the content comes out of my head, right? And finally, hmm, what was the third part? And finally, uh, you old folks out in the audience might remember that song from the 90s by Seal. Uh, the chorus goes, we're never going to survive unless we get a little crazy. Well, you know, maybe that's what I have to do. I have to uh, get a little bit crazy. And what does that mean? It doesn't mean do stupid stuff, and it doesn't mean be self-destructive, but it means operating outside of my comfort zone, which you could say is part of number one, but going back to number one, which means not being so intellectual, not being so abstract or bookish or whatnot. Uh, what I hope to do with the addition of video to my usual, uh, my usual production method is to infuse a bit more accessibility and emotion. And uh, part of that means smiling more. So here, let me end this video with a smile. And also an invitation to have you post any questions that you would like me to address in the comments below. And, um, well, I don't, I can't promise that I will answer all of them, but I will answer the best of them. 
And right now, when not very many people are asking, well, the best is a pretty low bar. <laughs> in fact, I probably will be answering all questions posted in the near future. So do post a question, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.